بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویورس مائی نیم از کرن فہیم آئی ایم فرام ایم ایس سی آنر اینیمل نیوٹریشن دا ڈپارٹمنٹ آف اینیمل سائنس آئی ایم ہیئر ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا ڈیزیز سڈن ڈیتھ سنڈروم وچ از کامنلی کوپائی اینڈ وچ از کامنلی یو کین سی ان دی ڈوائلر چکنس فرسٹ آف آل انٹروڈکشن سڈن ڈیتھ سنڈروم از اے کنڈیشن دیٹ افیکٹ فاسٹ گروتھ ڈوائلر چکن اسپیشلی میلس Normally incidence is 1.5 to 2.5% of the flock and from 21 to 28 days will usually be the major cause of death. Death occurs within 1 to 2 minutes, the birds most frequently being found dead on their backs. Occurrence of STS It is a cause of mentality in apparently normal fast growth broiler chicken, mostly male. It may rarely occur in other domesticated birds. for example adult meat breeders and in flocks of growing leghorn pullets because sts occur most frequently in male birds the role of female hormone has been questioned the reference cardiner et al 1988 injected male broiler with estradiol the female hormone and this had the expected effect on secondary sexual characteristics and a four fold reduction in testis size but it can't affect the sts and growth rate you can see in this pic mostly broilers dead on their backs sudden and syndrome in broilers now general signs some studies show that sts has some correlation with birds age body weight and season of the year but mortality rate of birds had no effect due to season studying records from 90000 birds collected over a 5 years period these workers recorded a mean sts mortality of 1.3 to 99.6% STS has mortality peak between 21 to 27 days of age and often then it remain constant at the age of 39 days 0.08% and often it decline to 0.05% at the age of 70 days based on these predictions gardiner et al 1988 conclude that within a flock of 1 lakh male birds 3000 STS mortalities can be expected up to 42 days while for a mixed sex flock The mortality will be around 2000 birds. The season of the year did not seem to influence these patterns of mortality. Broilers that die of STS show no specific abnormality but usually male appear healthy and are often above average flock body weight. Immediately prior to death they appear normal and are often seen feeding, drinking or walking. Birds extend their necks, squawk and due to wing beating and leg extension quickly work themselves on to their backs most poultry farmer describe the condition as a heart attack that occur within minutes although birds can be revi- revived with limited long term success if they are vigorously massaged during the early stages of the attack because subsequent post mortem examination reveal few specific effects the use of video camera behavior data was collected on a number of birds dying from STS between 22 to 46 days of age. All affected birds exhibited a sudden attack prior to death, characterized by loss of balance, violent wing flapping, and strong muscular contraction. Now the pathology and metabolic changes. First of all, discuss the cross pathology. The pathology of STS birds and attempted to describe the events leading up to that they found that birds are always well fleshed with edema and generally pulmonary congestion feed is present along the entire digestive tract and the gall bladder is usually empty the liver and kidney may be slightly enlarged and have patchy subcapsular hemorrhage the heart may contain clotted blood especially in the atria although the ventricles are most often empty and the left ventricle may appear slightly hypertrophied may enlarge A microscopic examination of the heart muscle suggests some damage because fibers are usually degenerated and infiltrated with heterophils that is caused by some type of damage to the heart which subsequently leads to lung edema edematous lungs with the chicken then being unable to breathe sts bird found dead on their breasts usually do not show the sign and relatively lung weight is often much less Then seen with birds dying on their back, congested and edematous lungs were not always a consistent feeder and were rarely found in birds that were examined almost immediately after death. Broilers dying from STS were examined 2 to 24 hours after death 
It concluded that relative weight of intestine, liver, lungs, and heart were usually at the upper end of the range normally seen in healthy birds of the same age. More detailed studies on the cardiac blood spot found in bird dying of STS. These small clots were found in all chamber, usually in close proximity to the heart wall. A number of different types of clots can be found, although the most common contain a mixture of fibrin and erythrocyte, the latter giving the clots their typical dark red color. All clots were considered to be post-mortem in origin and formed by blood coagulation. Now the tissue analysis. With the reference of Rotter et al. 1985 observed a small but statistically significant reduction in the potassium content and increase in the sodium content of heart tissue of SDS birds. Most notably, sudden death syndrome birds show elevation in the level of liver calcium and reduction in the iron in lungs and kidney. The heart, lungs and especially the liver also exhibited in the reduction level of dry matter following that. Now you can see in this picture the left side of normal liver and the right side if shown the fatty liver hemorrhagic syndrome. Large blood clots arising from the liver, not the excessive abdominal fat. Blood profile. Blood samples were taken periodically from 9 to 40 days of birth, housed under identical condition and fed the same diet. Few differences were seen in the blood profile of male and female broiler. Male consistently exhibited elevation blood glucose compared to female, although the actual level found were not different to those seen in male leghorn. Compared to the male leghorn, the male broiler consistently exhibited elevation blood uric acid and lactate dehydrogenase. Blood rectorite levels have also come under close scrutiny because sudden death syndrome type symptoms can experimentally be induced by an overdose of key elements such as potassium administrated directly into the heart, found higher levels of blood potassium in STS birds as compared to normal health control. Related factor, diet texture and restriction program. Male birds feed conventional broiler diet either free choice or restriction to 75% of normal feed intake while 3% of the control bird diet of sudden death syndrome. No such mortality occurred in the feed restriction birds. It concluded that STS can be prevented by growing birds at a slower rate. A marked reduction in STS when birds were fed mash 0.4% rather than steam palleted diet 1.6% of STS even though birds from both treatments were of comparable body weight, assumed that there was a pelleting factor which is infused STS that was independent of body weight. And all the protein rich ingredients, soya bean meal, fish meal and canola meal, there was a significant reduction in sudden death syndrome of male broiler. Diet protein and amino acid. Diet protein seems to have little effect on STS. The incidence of STS or its proportion of total mortality was reduced when meat meal was included in the diet. It concluded that meat meal supplies some previously unidentified factor that provide protection against STS corn diet invariably contain more meat meal necessary to maintain protein and amino acid level. There has been relatively little research aimed at investigating the role of diet amino acid as with protein graded level of essential amino acid will likely influence growth rate and therefore will directly affect the occurrence of STS independent of growth rate and the essential nature of known amino acid. Taurine. Taurine is the non-essential amino acid which has received more attention towards poultry being found in most animal tissue. Feeding up 2.2% taurine to broiler resulted a small reduction in sudden death syndrome. Diet energy sources. Use of various sources of energy in the diet has also been suspected in affecting the occurrence of STS. The replacement of carbohydrate by fat is suspected to be a factor Although is mainly instance, the effect of ingredient necessarily changes overall diet composition and subsequent differential growth rate is a confounding factor. Feeding graded level of tallow had little effect on the incidence of STS even though these diet change promoted increased growth rate. Saturated coconut oil has little effect on STS as compared to unsaturated sunflower oil. Mortality due to STS was more then double to 6% STS when glucose was the predominant energy source compared to 2.1% mortality when fat was a major contribution or 2.5% when corn starch was used. Diet minerals and vitamins STS may relate in some way to mineral availability. Role of various B vitamins show that STS was highest when biotin, pyridoxine and thiamine were 
बॉर्डर लाइन वाइल ऑल अदर विटामिन वर एट डाउट द नॉर्मल इंक्लूजन लेवल फार्मासटिकल्स एस्पेरीन हैज़ नो बेनिफिशियल इफेक्ट एंड इन टू ट्रायल दैस केस मोटेलिटी वॉज इन फैक्ट न्यूमेरिकली इंक्रीज द रोल ऑफ एंटी कॉक्सीजियल ड्रग्स शुड पर हैप्स हैज रिसीव मोर अटेंशन देन हैज अकर टू डेट देर इज सम एविडेंस ऑफ हाइस्ट एन सी एस मोटेलिटी विच वेन दीज प्रोडक्ट्स आर यूज इंडिकेट डेट एस टी एस वॉज सब्सटेंशली हायर वैन बर्ड्स वर फेड डाइट कंटेनिंग आयोनोफोर एंटी कॉक्सीडियल्स वैन टू आयोनोफोर नेमली मोनसिन एंड मोडोरामासिन अमोनियम द एस टी एस मोटेलिटी वॉज रिस्पेक्टिवली थ्री एंड टू पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट वाइल विद रोबिनी डीन नोन आयोनोफोर एस टी एस वॉज ओनली पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट लाइटनिंग प्रोग्राम लाइटनिंग प्रोग्राम कैन इन्फ्लुएंस द ग्रोथ एंड डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ दी ब्रॉयर एंड सो देर हैज बीन एन इंटरेस्ट इन स्टडिंग दीज the effect sts photo period had no effect on sts which showed the typical pattern related to age of 9 19 33 30 18 13 and 10% of total mortality in the week of 1 to 7 respectively a period of short daylight during early growth has recently been shown to be beneficial in reduction of both sts and skeletal problems in the birds lactate metabolism there has been considerable discussion on the role of lactate imbalance affecting sts This idea stems from the fact that lactic dosing can bring about symptoms similar to STS and that comparable lactate related condition are seen in other species by injecting 20% lactate into the wing vein all bird died within several seconds showing typical STS sign treatment and prevention first of all reduce growth rate one of the most successful techniques used to temper early growth rate is step down lighting program as detailed in the table you may see Reduced day length program for blighter, age of birds, blackout housing, open sided housing. In the blackout housing, there are two option: option one and option two. Now you might see zero to four age, five to ten age, eleven to fourteen, and so on. There is the degrees in the day length program of blighter: twenty three or eight, ten, fourteen, eighteen, and so on. Electrolyte balance. It is surprising that so few researchers have investigated the role of electrolyte balance. SGS type sign can be induced in the laboratory by injecting electrolytes such as potassium into the heart, and the work with lactate loading suggests an acid-base imbalance. Likewise, the SGS condition reported in Australia with adult breeders seems to be affected by potassium level of the diet, and potassium salt given via the feed are recommended for prevention. Anti-oxidants. There is circumstantial evidence that ionophore anticoxidants are in some way involved with STS. Certainly, the appearance of STS some 15 to 20 years age ago coincided with the introduction of these products. Ionophore, by def- definition, affect iron balance. The most critical ones being sodium and potassium. Again, it would seem beneficial to study the available potassium status of diet as related to. antioxidant inclusion and the physical distribution of antioxidant within the pellet diet on the other hand acid occur when non ionophore antioxidants are used and so if they are involved in this condition they are but one contributing factor last lactate balance one of the most interesting research result in the differential response by the bird to lactate dosing depending upon their dietary carbohydrate source Lactate accumulation in other species can cause sudden that that is ultimately manifested as circulatory failure. Thank you so much. I hope you like my video and my topic disease sudden death syndrome. Thanks a lot.